Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. I would like to thank one of the viewer who commented in my video saying that Windows 11 is no longer allow you to bypass, meaning that they make you to sign into the Microsoft account regardless on the setup. All right, so in this video, I'd like to update you with the new updates that came with Windows 11 and how to bypass signing into the Microsoft account, meaning that your computer would be standalone without getting into synchronized with all your information out with Microsoft. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here you can see that I have the Netgear router next to me. I'd like to demonstrate that to you in this setup as well and here I have the Windows 11 the newer version of Windows 11 um, and let's get started so the first thing I like to do is to go ahead and click yes I'm connecting from the United States but for you you please choose your country I'll be using US for my keyboard do I Need a second keyboard layout? The answer is no, so I'm gonna skip it. All right, here it asks you to connect to a network. So what I need to do is to find the Netgear. I have a Netgear here that I show it to you. So let me find Netgear, Netgear. So that is the Netgear. Let me select that. Connect automatically. I'm gonna click connect. So it is connected to my Netgear. I'm going to click Next. At this point, it's going to ask you for checking for updates and um, try not to disconnect the router yet or disconnect your Wi-Fi. So leave it as this. As you can see, the activity on the router is flashing, is blinking a lot. That means the data is going in and out. They're probably doing some kind of um, updates or, or keeping the computer, you know, up to date and whatnot. Okay, so the computer just restarted. So it is restarting itself now. Okay, at this point here, it asks for review the license agreement. I'd like to come over and turn off my router. So let's go ahead and turn off the router here. You can turn it off or unplug the power. So as you can see that the router is off. So the computer is no longer connected to the Netgear. I'm going to click accept. Go ahead and enter the name on the device. I'm going to name it as owner. I'm going to skip for the password and click next, next, accept. This is part of the Lenovo that like to take your information. I like to skip it.
all right just keep the pc plugged in you don't have to do anything at this moment let the pc do the setup itself going through the cycles once you get into the windows then you can go back and turn on the router but i'll bring it's almost there let's just wait for a little while okay as you can see that the new windows you can bypass without signing into the Microsoft account you are still with the standalone to the computer so you're not connected to the OneDrive not connected to Microsoft this is like a standalone directly to the computer okay so what now you want to do is to go back and turn on the router you just want to uh, make sure you still can um, all your devices at home uh, allow I mean to get back to the router so go go and turn on your router and give it a few seconds and the internet should pick up Netgear okay that should have a Netgear being connected so that's it that's how you can um, and that's how you do it um, you don't have to log into Microsoft account and you can just do a Windows 11 as a standalone all right thanks for watching until next time bye now